Well, a big day today. Big news coming up less than one hour away as the birthplace of country music will be announcing the prize package for the fifth annual Bristol Sessions Super Raffle. Erica Barker with the birthplace of country music museum joins us now with more on that and some of the other happenings at the museum there in downtown Bristol. Great to have you on the show. It's good to be here. So the clock is ticking, right? Getting ready for a big press conference. Yes, we're very excited to announce uh, the list of prizes for our fifth annual Bristol Sessions Super Raffle. Um, I, was, I don't even know what the prizes are yet, so I'm just <laughs> as excited as you guys. <laughs> but you said from years past, you know they're going to be big. Yes, I, we usually have a couple of vehicles. We've had things like uh, ex, uh, <laughs> jewelry. We've had uh, vacations. We've had all sorts of really neat things. We've had appliances, instruments. It could be anything. And there's also usually cash prizes, and that's personally what I would think I would want the most anyway. Yeah, I'll take it all. Yeah, yeah. that all sounds Who great. doesn't vacations? want a little extra cash? Yes. <laughs> And this is an important fundraiser for the museum. It is. So our goal is to sell 5,000 tickets. And each ticket is $100. You get two chances to win with every ticket. But if we sell all 5,000 tickets, that's $500,000 for the museum. We give half of that back in prizes to ticket holders. And the other half goes to the general operating fund. So you're literally keeping our lights on by buying a ticket to this raffle. Oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> and the chances of you winning, I mean, that, you're not selling that many tickets. Yes, because it's a limited number of tickets, your odds of winning actually increase. And like I said, you get two numbers on each ticket and also the way that we do the drawing is not with a, a ticket itself it's with four different ball machines so if you're really really lucky you might even get your number drawn twice <laughs> Ooh, that would be really cool <laughs> and of course this happens the press conference you guys are actually going to be streaming that or on your Facebook yes you can watch it live on our Facebook page and see all the prizes as they're announced and then you can also go onto our website afterwards and find more information on each prize very nice and then you can get your tickets yes. when do you guys do the big drawing the drawing will be on Sunday of the Rhythm and Roots Festival, so that's September 10th this year, from 12 to 4, and we'll be drawing a winner every five minutes during that time. So you can come and watch the drawing live, but you don't have to be there in person to win. We'll contact all winners. That's exciting. <laughs> all right, well, lots of fun happening there. And then speaking of the big Rhythm and Roots reunion, of course, a lot of people getting excited, and you guys do so much to really build the energy as we get closer. Yes, we're, oh, we're always excited about the Rhythm and Roots reunion. That's the highlight of our year. <laughs> Um, but this year we also have any day passes, so if you don't know what day you want to come or your schedule's really busy or maybe you're buying a ticket for a friend and you don't know what day they're available, you can now do an any day ticket option, which is $70 and it's a print at home ticket. So you just bring it to the gate the day that you want to go and exchange that for a day pass on the day. Oh, wonderful. That's a great idea, yeah. like you said, for people that, especially those who gift. The tickets, what a great idea so people can pick which day they want to go. Yeah. Of course, it's going to be hard to figure out which day you want to go. It is. Because you're winning on <laughs> for all three, right? It's very hard. You can see our entire schedule on the uh, website, and you can actually create your own schedule, too. If you sign in, you can create an account and kind of make your own uh, curated schedule so that you can more easily navigate the bands you really want to see on the day. Great idea. <laughs> then you know exactly where you need to be. And you guys have been really busy with summer camps. Yes, we have our summer camp coming up. The beginner camp starts next week. That camp is full, but we still have a few spots left in our intermediate camp, which is the following week, starting on June 26th. All right, and lots of other activities. We'll give everybody the website for more. I know you've got concerts and exhibits and all kinds of good stuff. So if you would like more information on all the events happening, including this concert coming up at the museum, you can go to the website at Birthplace of Country Music. Dot org. It's great to have you on the show. Keep Thank us posted you. on those prizes. Oh. <laughs> I will. <laughs>